Yo, it's Brandon, and I kind of wanted to talk about how insane the Texas Chainsaw Massacre game is. So I've been playing this game for, let's say, uh, three days, and I already have 22 hours. What does that say, dude? I don't ever play games this much. I really don't. So this is crazy for me to even play this much, and I'm genuinely hooked. I love both sides, which is the first time I've, like, ever, you know, played and had fun on both sides. For any ASM, really. I mean, I'll play Killer and all these games, but like not to this extent. So it's really crazy just how much fun I'm having. And I haven't been bored once. Literally, like I've been playing way too much. So yeah, I really love the game so far. And I really am super excited to see what the developers have to show us next. So uh, yeah, I kind of wanted to talk about how Bubba is like the most fun character in the whole game. So I did want to go over my build a bit because basically as Bubba, what I want to do is do big, 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 big damage. So for my upgrades, the first one I went for was this overheat one. And honestly, I don't really notice a difference from this one, but I will say that this one, the 20% more often before stalling is key because when you have this, Every time you basically use the powerful chainsaw attack at max rev, it won't stall. So you can keep using it. You will have to rev it back up, but you can keep using it instead of getting stuck in a cooldown and not being able to hit anyone. So this is key, and I recommend this to everyone. And I haven't been able to play enough to get any higher levels, but I really think I'm going to go for instant activation. However, I don't know. It could be bad, so we'll see. Next, I have this perk. And this perk basically gives me bleed damage for 7 seconds after I hit someone. I, I actually don't know how much this does, but I'm all in for damage. Big damage, that's what I'm playing for, so. My next perk basically gives me full damage when I'm carrying a full blood vial, but like, honestly, I don't get much value out of this. I think I might need to switch to a different perk. And then finally, my third one is just increasing my storage so I can get Grandpa up a full level. Because I get so many kills, I can actually level up Grandpa full because it'll give me 105 at this max level. And my Grandpa perk I've been using right now is the reduced uh, proximity warning. So we can basically get a little bit closer to them without them noticing. I mean, it might not help me because I have this giant loud chainsaw, but it might help my team. So you never know. And I put all of my points into savagery, so I do big damage with the chainsaw, of course, and then the rest in endurance. And I really don't think I need any blood harvesting. But yeah, that's my build. That's the Bubba build. And uh, yeah, we got the best Bubba skin in the game. And uh, yeah, I'm kind of the best killer. Like, So as Bubba, your whole goal is to basically be as annoying as possible, especially in the very beginning of the game. So what I've been doing is early on, of course, you always have to break these barricades and stuff. But as Bubba, I've been like just being annoying and like bullying everyone. So I don't chase one person because if you find that one person who's going to keep you at an infinite forever, you're never going to be able to get them. So if they do that, you just got to leave because that's how they get out of the basement. That one guy distracts you and they get out. So you really got to just hurt them all like cattle and you just win because you're the best Bubba ever. Okay, that's not going to happen every single time. So as Bubba, I've been using his rev ability pretty consistently, but you do have to be careful when you use it, especially if you're new with it. Because as a new player, when I first started using it, I have probably messed up so many times. And it's really risky too, because if they find a wall, you're basically walked in an animation, especially if you have your chainsaw held up high above you. Your movement is actually like changed and like kind of locked. So you can't really turn as well. And you're forced to move forward when that's happening. So you really need to be careful and only use it like at specific moments. And I usually don't go and grab blood from the ground unless I need to, because I usually get most of it from killing people. You know, of course. <laughs> yeah, destroying barricades is pretty key, honestly. You do want to always help your family out. You want to help the homies, help them out, because they can't break barricades. That's your job. 
So you don't want to sit there and not help them because if they can't get through barricades, then what are you supposed to do? Now, I'm not saying go and break every single barricade on the map. Whenever you have downtime, definitely go and break the barricades. And I definitely recommend getting rid of like the most annoying barricades first. There's a really prominent one that I'm thinking of on like uh, the slaughterhouse right now. It's basically in the middle. And every single time I see that, I try to get rid of it as soon as possible because it's like blocking such a long path. So you really just have to like think about like how far you have to go around to get through that barricade. And if it's too much, you probably want to get rid of it to help your team out. As for like roaming around, I basically like to run around and check every single door. Bubba is one of the fastest characters in the game. So really all you have to do is like check like every single door. And that's what I've been doing. I kind of patrol. And when I'm patrolling, I'll also check things like the fuse on the side. I'll see if it's been taken. Sometimes I'll pass by and look at the water valve if I can see it. And a lot of the game as family is actually playing and communicating with your team because I have been doing very great especially because of how well my team communicates. And honestly, we don't even communicate like that much, but I can kind of like tell where my team is based on what's going on. And honestly, as, as a killer, you definitely need to split up. Like a lot of people might be working together, but most of the time being in more places is way more helpful. If you're all together, they can just go where you're not and open a gate and get out. But uh, yeah, that's basically all of my like short Bubba tips and tricks, I guess. And uh, yeah, hopefully you can like become the best Bubba in the game, like even better than me, because I think I'm cracked. But, you know, I'm probably like really bad and like, well, we'll all laugh at this and like a year when this game's been out for that long but uh yeah this game's really fun and i think i'm gonna keep playing it so i'm super excited to see what comes out of it i really am and uh if you have any bubba tips and tricks for me uh let me know because i'm kind of trash and uh yeah goodbye